Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato, and today's Everything Music, it's What Makes This Song Great, episode 82. The artist is Elton John, and the song is Rocket Man, coming up next. Rocket Man is from the Elton John record entitled Honky Chateau, released in 1972. It was written by Elton and Bernie Taupin, as are pretty much all Elton John songs. Now, I want to tell this story, I've told it on my channel a long time ago, but uh, I have an Elton John story. So in 2004, Elton was in Atlanta here where I live, working at a studio called Tree Sound. And he was recording a record that he called Peachtree Road. I was working with a band called Jump Little Children. It was our first day of recording. And I was in this control room that was about 100 feet away from the big live tracking room. And I had no camera or anything, could not see the band. So I was getting ready to record the first song with the band. And I'm hitting the mic, the talkback mic, say, hey, yo, let's go, guys. Come on, let's put, what, is anybody out there? And there was no sound. I could hear some mumbling in the background. So I said, oh, I gotta just go out and see. Maybe there's some problem or something. They can't hear it. So I wa start to walk out, and the band comes walking in the control room, stunned. I said, what's going on? They said, Elton John just came in. I said, what? He said, yeah, Elton John's recording in Studio A. And he said, he first his assistant came in and said, are you guys jump little children? And they said, yeah. And he walked out. And then Elton John came in and said, hey, I'm Elton John. I'm a huge fan of your, you guys. I love the song Cathedrals off your last record. And I just want to come in and say hello. So Elton came in, shook everyone's hand, talked to them for a second. He said, when you guys are done tracking today, come over to Studio A and hang out. So I couldn't believe this. I knew that Elton was recording in the studio. We were in Studio B. He was in Studio A. So anyways, 8 o'clock rolls around. And I have my assistant, Ken, who you've seen on here, call over to Studio A. He's like, yeah, Elton said, come on over. So we go over. And Elton's there. And Bernie Toppin is there. And Nigel, the drummer. I mean, it's really all the guys that Elton plays with are there recording. Elton then said, after talking for an hour said, do you want to hear the song we're working on? And he played this song called Way to the World, which happens to be the first song off that particular record. And I remember sitting at the SSL console like this, and Elton is sitting right here, and I kept thinking, that's Elton John right there. Now, I'm not one to be really, you know, I'm not often starstruck by people, but Elton John, come on, right? It's ridiculous. Anyways, let's check out the top of the song. You pack my bags last night, free flight. Starts with no intro, right in on the melody. Zero hour, 9 a.m. Okay, one cool thing right off the bat is the chord progression. It starts on G minor 7, right, and then to C7. And that's the 2 5 in the key of F, the 2 chord to the 5 chord. That's actually kind of unusual in pop music. You typically would hear that. In Bossa Nova, that's actually very common for an Antonio Carlos Jobim song, something like that. And then moving on. And I'm gonna be high as a kind by then. Okay, so right at the beginning of that phrase. And I'm gonna right there, the first accent, he's going from that C7 chord, which is which leads right up to the B flat over D, so that in first inversion B flat major chord, and then into the walk down. E flat, B flat over D, C minor, C minor over B flat, and then F major over A. So you have all these inverted chords there with this beautiful melody, right? Uh, da, 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 da. Had he not used the inversions, it would have sounded like this. Well, then uh, you still do that. That really sounds kind of bloated, actually. And this is a, a much more interesting hip melody with that chord progression under it. Moving on to the next phrase. I miss the Bass enters. I miss my wife. Beautiful. That high G. Love it. 
such a time Drums. I am less white. Bass is doing the same inversions. Right? And the bass climbs right up there. And then we're into the chorus. Okay, let's solo some of these instruments so you can hear. Let me solo the voice. You packed my bags last night, free flight. Zero hour, 9 a.m. I love it. You hear all these nuances. M at the end of the phrases, he's always doing something with the note. He doesn't just sit there. You packed my bags last night, free flight. There he goes, right? And that one, he goes up and this one too. Zero hour, 9 a.m. Those uh, types of phrase endings are what make melodies interesting and beautiful, right? I call it a cap because it caps the phrase. You hear blues guitar players do it all the time where they'll just add a little something, a little period at the end of a sentence. That's just great melody writing. Here's the piano solo. Let's check that out. I love all the movement that Elton has in his piano playing that helps propel the groove. All that back and forth, that really is great. Next, let's check out D. Murray's bass line. This is the kind of bass playing that I learned to play the bass from when I was a teenager. He starts up high on the high G here on G minor. Four. I miss Two, three. So much. I miss my wife. This triplet lick. It's lonely out Love that. On such a time, I am less white. And then he fills when there's no singing. And then root. Third, fifth, root, third, fifth. Really great groove bass playing that's simple. A lot of things like... Uh, goes right along with the kick drum and just locks it down. Let's check out the drums next. The drums begin here. On such a time. So all live playing. Simple with the hi-hat here. Then starts the crescendo. Opening the hi-hat and then simple fill, no crash. Here's the drum solo. Boom. Boom. Love it. Let's talk about the pre-chorus next. What I love about this section, the pre-chorus, is that there's so much space and the piano and bass fill here, drums, and then we have the chorus. Now you would never have something like that in our ADD culture today. There's never any space that you can just let the song breathe and groove. They have the he has the one vocal line here. On and the, such a timeless flight. And such a timeless flight, and then nothing. Just letting it groove. Getting ready for the chorus. And fill. And I think it's gonna be a long time. Next we have the entrance of the chorus. Two acoustic guitars enter. It sounds like in one channel, there's a regular six string. The other channel sounds almost like there's a Nashville tuned guitar. And it sounds to me like it's an open G tuning with a capo at the third fret. So let me play along with it so you can hear it. 
two, three, four. The most signature part in the song is the slide guitar that leads us into the chorus right here. This. When you think of Rocket Man, you think of that sound, right? And it really only happens twice in the chorus. It happens there, and then two, three, four. So that in your brain, you're thinking that's something bigger than it is, but it's really just a very simple part, but it stands out from the song and it gives you that idea of something taking off because of the slide. So let's hear how it works with the vocals. And I think it's gonna be... So it actually comes in just before the vocals and it actually pulls you into the chorus. It's the same thing that would happen if you use a swell, a feedback swell, a backwards piano, something to drag you into the lyric or into the beginning of the chorus. Once again. And I think it's gonna be long, long time. The other thing that happens are the harmonies in the chorus. And these harmonies are amazing. Let's solo them, listen with the vocal. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time Till touchdown brings me round again Beautiful. to find I'm not the man they think I am at home They slide oh, no, no, no I'm a rocket man Okay, these are just simple triads So B flat major And then it goes to E flat major So in second inversion B flat, E flat, G And then back to B flat major And then down to C major. So just simple, simple triads with the voices, they gliss between these, they just slide between these different voices here. Perfect voicing. I'll play along. Listen. And I think it's gonna be a long, then, long time till touchdown brings me round again to find I'm not the man they think I am at home. Oh, no, no, no. I'm a rocket man. Rocket man. Once again, straight major triads, right? So it's Rocket Man, so it goes up to uh, E flat major, and then down to B flat major. Rocket Man! You hear that high B flat, and then it drops down to. So it's E flat, G B flat, D F B flat. Rocket Man! It's that simple, but it's so perfect. It just makes the chorus explode. It's like having a pad behind the vocal. The cool thing about when it says Rocket Man is how the voices become brighter in that part. So the oohs are very dark sounding, right? I'm a Rocket Man. And then when it gets to Rocket Man. Rocket Man. The voices are much more open. They're 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 singing louder, and they have a much brighter sound, and it really and reinforces the hook. Perfect arranging. And that fills the space. And then once again, we have the vamp. And we're into the next verse. And all we have are, is the bass, piano, and voice. But with that, then you hear that the slide happening right there. Once again, just to give that atmosphere. And then the drums come back in here with a build. 
This drum buildup before the second half of the verse is really an odd pattern. Let's check it out. And then into the second half, only hi-hat, no crash. Now we also have the entrance of the synthesizer. I think it's an ARP Odyssey here. Like a horn sound. And then... Doo -doo -doo. Love it. Doo -doo -doo. And then into harmony. Beautiful part. One of the cool things about it is that it's a perfect complement to the piano and acoustic guitar. The acoustic guitar has a has a real bright sound to it, percussive, along with the piano, and this has a more of a horn-like sustaining sound, right? So it really jumps out of the mix. It's just my job. Right there, you can hear that lead you in that line in harmony do, 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 into the oh my god, that's that's beautiful. The vocals there, the keyboard line leads you right into that. It's perfect singing. Right there you hear, these are really subtle things, but the I always loved how the acoustic guitar, you can hear the rake of the pick right there. Sounds great. Another thing I want to mention here about the piano part is that Elton does a lot of these things, let's say. So right there, we're on B flat major, and then instead of going to B flat sus, he goes to E flat over B flat. So four over one and then to the four chord. So he uses that four over one move as a, like a suspension, okay? It just adds more harmonic movement. There's another cool little acoustic guitar part that happens right here in the beginning of the out chorus. Right here. Sounds like he's going like this. And then down to... Uh, let me play along with it. So good. All those little fills like that. Back to the chorus. And then the song fades. With, I think it's going to be a long, long time. The thing that is great about this, the last part of the song on the Outcourse Vamp, is that you have a new hook line. And I think it's going to be a long, long time. And then you go, long, long time. All those kind of things that you used to wait for at the bottom of, of a fade when he would do those things. I would always wait as a kid to hear that, long, long time. You never hear things like that anymore because there's rarely any fades in any songs. This is really something of the past, fades. I'm going to do a whole show on that.
That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. If you're a first time viewer, don't forget to ring the bell. Very important. If you're interested in the Beato book, go to my website at www.rickbeato.com. Follow me on Instagram at rickbeato1. Check out the Beato ear training method at beatoeartraining.com. You want to get a good ear and be able to figure out these things really fast? Try my ear training course. And if you want to support the channel even more, think about becoming a member of the Beato Club. Thanks so much for watching.